I can't wait for this. This is going to be brilliant. This is just a piece of art. In a minute, we're going to see Limp spelling out some words here through the trees. Top lane, you're going to have Squindles. He's going to go down his dark seed. Chessie's going to man at mid. And he's going to have Z Freak bottom lane. So it's going to lead this. Uh, D4 dual... Here we go. Are you ready for this? So what's the plan here? The dual jungle. So he's going to go into this camp first, clean this one up. He'll be able to do it quickly before uh, the next one spawns at a minute with uh, hands can. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's interesting what they start to do when they start to play. And then he'll camps. kill some more creeps over there. But right, mid, yeah. mid lane is mid one beast master against Chessy DK. That that matchup yeah. is you know, it's going to be a wash pretty much. They both kind of just trade fun. There's nothing going to be massively interesting there unless the you know, support wisp comes in and DJ who's stacking up ancients will build up a bank for the beast master. Darkster against Bristle. Not really any killing potential there unless Bristle has a major cock up and gets caught by iron shells. And bottom lane, Marana can you know, leap away from cask and spin. And as long as Z Freak doesn't waste it, it should be pretty safe there. Now, how fast will Lift get this blink? Very fast. Hands can get that stack once more there. So really just trying to utilize maximum maximum farm in the jungle. And as you said, you feel lane-wise, you know, complexity elsewhere, they're not going to be compromised too much. They sh still should be able to find something uh, with having two heroes just prioritizing in the jungle. That's, that's the weirdest thing, right? It doesn't seem there are any real exploitable weaknesses here for complexity. We're with two heroes. Z3 looks to be struggling. That, that's the one thing at the moment. On this Marana, he's pretty much found nothing two minutes in. But he's stacking ancients. Like, he, he's not... The big thing is he's not dying, right? He, he's not giving away unnecessary kills. On him. You also get really good levels on the Wyvern as well. Uh, three minutes in, you've got level three Wyvern. And uh, how's he freak managed to do? Is he starting to get something down there? Yeah, he's level three now. CS isn't great, but uh, he's now managing to find something. Now Limp will clear this big camp with the help of Handscan. So now all of EU and NA pubs are going to be jungle Wyvern acts. So Absolutely. The dual, this is the place. The dual Q party Nothing rank so stacks. Just go that, already ruin, that already ruin ranked games. Because of the disparity between Party MMR and Solo MMR. Let's hope for the sake of it, they oh don't God. win with this strat. What you get, it does what it says on the tin. So here we go, he's got it done. So, so six minute Vanguard, that's pretty good in terms Dying of act standards. Pretty spectacular, exactly. honestly. I mean, he's 3.1k net worth, and this is comparing him to a sub 3k Beastmaster who's doing very well at the mid lane. And the two safe lane farmers, you know, Juggernaut and Dark, sitting at 2.5. Look, look at this, so you get the Vanguard, now you go for the Ancients. Oh, hell. Oh my god, is that going to give him, like, half his blink there as well? I mean, this is quite remarkable. Limp, let's see how much gold he gets out of this. He is, uh, yeah, he's at the Cold Embrace. It's going to be there, and he just sits there spinning away whilst what's, what's his gold? cryogenic's up. Like, 1,400, 1,500. What the hell? Okay. Yeah. All right. So he goes from 6 minute Vanguard, yep. Owen, to 6 minute Vanguard and 1500 gold. Right. And then guess where he goes now? Where's he going now? Back in the jungle. To back form back in the jungle, yeah, and then he'll have it done. Oh, even would be better if he could take this ancient stack from uh, the side of Fnatic. Oh, Jesse scouted oh. it. Is he going to go over there and do that limp says, hey, you're right. They're all TPing and they know they yeah, need to uh, you, you can't this let Axe do this. And they'll actually roll onto him and make it go, but Cold Embrace will be there, limp. May have uh, got a little bit greedy, his eyes. Bigger than his mouth as he spots this one out. There'll be a Winter's Curse to hold back Mushi. Limp goes back in, tries to get a spin up, but the Omni Slash is there and they punish the axe. Limp was wondering, oh, ancients, they look good, but uh, they, they kill him and, and they're yeah, going to kill him more. Yeah, they're going to lose a second here, so Fnatic, they're not messing around. They, they just want to play some Dota 2. I think they just want to catch towers, honestly. Yeah, like, they start putting the pressure on. Kills are added extra here. They want to try and push towers, and they want to force Fnatic to fight into them. Because Fnatic's entire lineup is, you know, five man. They, they've got heal, they've got sustain. Oh, mid, Swindles needs a bit of help. Nice right, Shadow will do it. Now he's going to pop out the uh, Sentry Ward, so they're ready to fight mid one. Oh, he's about to get dunked here. Oh, a little bit out, but still, will stick down to the Battle Hunger. Gets the Roar out on his way down. But they're not going to be able to kill him. And him. He's got forward. Blink again, but no call. He's going to stick and call. Body block. He's got it. Uh, he has indeed. Blocks it up. Can't will by some time, but he still gets the call off. It's another. Kill for complexity, Sorry, thanks to the, it's the plays from Limp here. Look at these hero levels. Like, you, you think about the role attribution, right? Mirana is a four-roll support, kinda, and Wyvern is the five-roll support. But they're level eight. The spread of levels on complexity is very easy. Oh, and then jumps in, looks for a call. That's gonna count to Cartier. The Winter's Curse is out. DJ pulling on to get the dunk off. Now, yeah, doesn't even need it here. Doesn't even need it there the second time. Double kill for Hanskin. Bursting them down. Olympus still on the back lines of this one. Playing around with Fnatic. And they're just trying to run away, but this man blinks in, gets the call. There's one dunk. Takes down the Witch Doctor. 3 4 3. Getting removed from the game. And, and yeah, limp, limp on his axe. 2 1 3 at the moment. 
It's Beastmaster Borg, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. everything here. Yeah. Pretty much physical damage. There's pretty much no magic burst from Fnatic outside of kind of, kind of Maledict, right? That's oh, yeah, the he only... wants to go top. He might even be able to find the blink call here on the mid one. He does jump in, catches out the Beastmaster Z Freak, following through to help. He's already used the arrow. And we'll see actually a relocate coming through. Z Freak's got to be careful. Nice That's fine mid one. Yeah, with Swindle's turning up as well. Then... And the boys can try and look for more. He is going to go back in four seconds. I can't quite get the call off the dunk. It won't be enough unless he gets it off. Quite get it off there. He's left alone, though. Yes, he he's been left oh, totally on his own here. Z-Freak jumps himself away. Meanwhile, down bottom, they actually managed to get that kill onto the Ayo because Chessy and Hanskin were waiting. They're looking at Ohio now as well. Mushi getting taken down on the top. He will be killed by Limp. Still at the bottom, the fight going on. Now Ohio trying to man up, but will be able to man up onto Hanskin. See, he's going to play with Ohio a little bit, but he can't really uh, take this down, take down this person back on his own. Just doesn't have the firepower. Just running at Fnatic, one target at a time, and now the boots have traveled up for Limp. It's only going to continue. It's only going to get worse for Fnatic because he's going to be all around the map. So any time an arrow's hit, any time, uh, uh, you know, they get him with the Windsor's because it'll always be the follow-up. Fnatic, going to make a go on here around the sidelines towards the mid lane. Limp jumping in on DJ, gets the dunk off. That's the eye out of the fight. There'll be a roar on to Hanskin, but the back of his never to Blakey. It's not going to be enough. The wall's being dropped here in the middle of it all. Deadpool's in the high ground. 3-4-3, three, 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 trying to pound into Limp, but this man no does not care at all. The rest of the coach side of Blakey, they feel a little bit more. Z-Freak dropping low, will fall the quill sprays, and you see Hyo on the top. Continue to chase down these boys. Dragon Tail will hold back the Bristol back Swindle. Barely tanky, not actually enough, it's a double kill for Ohio. Now eyes onto this Ash, can they take down Limp? Do they have the control Limp? Dre's just walking around, in fact he's toying with the idea of getting a cool off here, they've got to kite him up, continue to get these quill spray stacks, the Maladic ticking down on him as well, he'll get off the call, he's hoping for some spins, oh nearly! So nearly getting something off there, but it's four down on Kablexi, is looking to be a fifth as Mookie comes in with the Blade Fury, Ohio on a mega kill streak. And Kablexi getting white there. As uh, Fnatic just uh, Ohio just on the sidelines stacking up those quill sprays. To do so, I mean this Marana Z Freak struggled at the start. He's catching up in levels. He is working on that Agonims. They need to find some big wombos. They need to get that call into into Swindle's vacuum wall. Otherwise, they're going to struggle. And they have found free for free here on the sidelines, and, and that will be a freebie here for Sonic Complexity. They'll get the dunk here to get the movement speed to try and chase down for more. Oh, Jesse gets the dragon tail. There'll be a TP reaction, but Limp closes in, gets off the call before they manages to get the roar off on the Beastmaster. There Very nice there from Complexity. Double kill for Limp. His Battle Fury, he's got to really get into that, into that Manta style of the SNYs. Oh, it could, could even be Diffusal Blade actually, pretty good against this Darkseer, as well as the rest of the side of Complexity is burning through their mana. Obviously, Axe and DK. Both costs are pretty high, but also the mana falls low. Oh, the strain with the Winter's Curse on to 3 4 3. Limp follow up with the call, but they're really getting the side out. The Splinter Blood following through the vacuum wall. On to 3. Look at the dunk cost for one of the Look at he's chased down for more. Mushi going for the straight TP out. He will make it nothing to hold him back there, and now Ice onto Ohio. But this is Complexity chasing down this Bristle back. Can they actually kill the Bristle? They can, unless they can get a blink call. See if Limp can try and find that lockdown so they can try and close the gap at the same time. Look behind the tier one. You've got Z Freak chasing down DJ. And, uh, well, he's, he's gonna get it here, DJ, no escape, Arrow's on point, and Marana will take down the Aya, but... We saw that they just can't kill this Bristle back, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter if they can try and just kill everyone else around. He's barely scraping ahead of that Marana. He was the mid-Beastmaster. Really the spot you want to be in. DJ. Just sitting behind Ohio, making sure that if the They're Bristle does get jumped on... But where's the save available? Uh, Chessie's eyeing up that eye, as you said, yeah, looking for uh, DJ, and he's going to find him the side. Oh, has he got it? As well, and they'll manage to get the control out. DJ, is he going to be able to play his way out this one? No, they've found the eye. Can they actually kill a Ohio, though, the cast? Now, Zwindle's going to hold them back still. Swindle's closing the gap. There'll be a Winter's Curse holding the Witch Doctor in place. They're looking for the control on Ohio. They're going to get it. Take down the Bristol back, and now Complexity going to move forward for more. Back to him back mid one. Here comes the chase down, the touchdown. They'll find themselves a third. Complexity now getting the momentum going, and the Witch Doctor to TP himself out at all as long as Jesse can get that opening touch and uh, they may even try uh, try for that now but you got eyes onto Ohio you've already got the movement coming in limp to lead in with the cool arrow coming in from the sidelines beautifully done and when you're smacking him in the face it doesn't even matter because he's done yes, now for a minute no buyback. No money indeed for the buyback. So this is a nice opening from Complexity to come in. And without the Bristle back, where's your frontliner? Who are you sending in uh, to go head-to-head -head with these boys? And well, jumping in. Look, catching out DJ. 
two miles behind the racks. Nip with the perfect pick off with the help of Swindles and Jesse. And now they're two heroes down, and we're only 25 minutes in, but you know, with this DK, they can do a hell of a lot of damage to this tower and also the Rex as well. The question is, what's a Fnatic do in response? They're trying to go for that split push. 30, 30, 10, 10 split or whatever from uh, from one to five roll. Well, I know I just named four numbers because I'm an idiot, but uh, this, this was five heroes, very nicely spread in that worth, and Hanskin's the only one down at the bottom. They're going to try for fire. They're looking to wrap around Mushi. He's looking for an opening for that Omni Slash. He's going to go for it, but the stun, the control is there. Can they keep him locked down? Uh, get himself out with the Omni Slash in time, but it's not going to kill anyone. And in fact, he could be the one in trouble. They get the call off. Oh, the Death Ball pummeling into him, but now the Winston's Curse. DJ is now got It's a one for one. They have lost D3. Complex D heading off to the sidelines of Higher. Starting to run havoc around them here with the Quill Spray stacking up. They'll find the Wyvern. It's a two for two. Limp looking for the TP out. He will make it. At the same time, on the back of it, Chesty is kind of cleaning. He finds the Witch Doctor, trying to get himself out, looking for the TP. And no stuns. Yeah, he'll get himself out as well. So securing the team fight when they're turning it into a three for two exchange. And uh, the big pick, of course, the fact that they do find that Mushi Juggernaut. That's some action. But uh, it's not going to be the case. Fnatic, grouped up at the moment. Yeah, they are very, very close within the vicinity of each other, and, and we can see with these wards there. Uh, eyes onto each other, and actually mid one jumping in right into the middle of complexity here. So he caught out fire for Moose coming for his wall, but they've already lost the beast monster. He's down on this dash onto Limp, but he just tanks it up. So let's get the battle hunger off, and Limp now it's just tanking it, but the same time. Chessy on the back lines is already killing them off. They'll get the call onto a high oak. See Moochie just eyeing up Chessy, but Chessy's found himself the third. They'll now go back onto Ohio, getting off the Dragon Town. They'll find themselves a fourth here. Triple kill for Chessy. It's just kill after kill. This DK is just doing so much. We want to see it relatively little. Armlet, Silver Edge. He's, well, he's just got enough damage in his Dragon Form to rip through some of the lineup of Fnatic. He's 8 3 11. Fnatic, they're trying to encroach into this area. Actually, swing themselves through into it, but complexity, they are, they are well ready. Oh, I'm higher, getting kind of outside of the Roran to hand straight away. Limp sliding in, gets the call off onto mid one. The arrows are following through as well, but the start some of the dunk mid one's gone. Roshan is down, and DK Chessy, he'll be able to grab it for himself. Ohio already pulling incredibly low. The vacuum's there. Ohio trying to get himself out here, but they'll follow him down. One more right click, double top jump from here on Z3, getting himself the double kill with the start song. He's gone as well. And there'll be a buyback from uh, from Ohio. They're, of course, they're going to do their best to stay in the game here. But the fact that Hanskin is able to, you know, kite them around, Limp goes in to save his body, he forced down, he blinks, he jumps around, gets cursed on the two. Uh, the Roar doesn't get them a kill. No. The Roar doesn't get them anything, and Midwinter stands there, you know, doing nothing whatsoever. Oh, cool. And they're it's trying over. to get back at GG. Finale are gone in complexity. Will move forward to play against No Diggity. Straight away. Okay, so that, there that, we that, have it. That BM from Adam Shaw at the start. 3-4-3. Three, three. Bad luck, guys. Well, Bad it's uh, wow. got reflected back into him, didn't it? Absolutely. The old frog in game. They do not reward rudeness. They they, they, they reward just uh, jewel jungling. So, <laughs> pub games. They're going to take a bit of a oh, tank after this. I forgot about that, didn't I? Wyvern and Axe. Go party queue. Can you shut up? Don't do it. Can unless, go back to the don't, no, don't do it unless you're a professional. Don't do it. Trust me, don't do it. It only worked here because the complexity are pros. Mm -hmm. Okay.